Welcome to the Book Winery. <laughs> my name's Rachel. And my name's Terry. <laughs> and uh, this is the, the show where I drunkenly uh, talk about a book that I recently read, and he drunkenly tries to understand. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Welcome back to, uh, this will be episode two, or are we going to make this episode one? Sure. We're just, okay. I don't I don't know. We're just rolling with it because, um... Yeah. So far, we haven't published anything, so... You know what? We'll wait until yeah. we make a good one. <laughs> so we'll say this will be the first one, because I actually know what I'm talking about. Alright. Okay. Um, what book are we uh, today, <clears throat> about today? We're talking about Lost Gods by Brom, uh, which Brom, the author, is actually an artist. So he does a lot of his own art for his books, and he has whatever in his books. Are you saying um, that writing isn't art? Right? But no, it's different from paid <laughs> Um, But no, so uh, he only has like two, three actual novels, I think. Oh. Uh, I think one of them's illustrated, and then he just has a bunch of books that are just art. Um, signs for me. Uh, so, Lost Gods by Brom. Uh, so it's set down south, um, and it follows a man, uh, his name is Chet. Uh, he... In the beginning of the book, he just got out of... And this is a quick five-minute summary. Gotcha. Okay. Quick five-minute so, summary. So this is the, the non-spoiler... Yes, this is just... Summary for people who are like, you know what, I want to read this book, but I'm yeah. not ready for commitment. It's a little bit more than just that, but it's a very <laughs> shortened version. Okay, um, gotcha. Okay, so it follows uh, a guy named Chet. I don't really know his age. Um, So he's just gotten out of jail for minor drug charges... And he goes and uh, finds his girlfriend, Trish, who is pregnant with his baby. Um, And she found out right before he went to jail, so she's very late-term pregnancy. She's living with her very strict dad. Um, And his, or her dad, okay, I need to follow the script because I'm drunk. Um, (laughs) Really? (laughs) Okay, so, so he, like, taps on her window. She comes up and he's like, hey. I'll marry you, I'll promise to take care of you and our child, Uh, I'll stay clean, I won't do anything, let's just run away, make a life of our own. Um, She agrees, they start to leave, and as they're leaving, um, they get stopped by some of her dad's friends, because it's early in the morning and they're going fishing or whatever. So, they get in the car, they leave. Um, In the process of doing so, uh, Chet runs over Coach, uh, who was the coach of his high school, junior high, whatever. So his um, name is Coach, and he's That's just what he's coach. called. Oh, he's okay. Coach. He, was, um, he wasn't born with a name and came out of the womb wearing a coach's hat with, like, a beer gut and a round, a round key thing of no. keys and, like, a pocket full of nickels. <laughs> it's just okay. like, ah, this guy's, he's gonna be a high school coach. <laughs> okay, this is just coach. a quick five minutes over, okay? Right, we'll sorry, get more sorry. into that. Um... Which that does happen? What happens? He gets born wearing no. a coach's hat. No, you idiot. <laughs> okay, so uh, they run away, and they go to uh, Chet's grandmother's house, uh, Lamia. Her name is Lamia. And every time I heard it, because I listened to it, my brain always auto-corrected it to Labia. <laughs> <laughs> but gotcha. anyway, so they go to Lamia's house. But the thing is, is that Chet has never met her. But... He, like, hears her voice or whatever. It, okay. Um, so they go to Lamia's place, and uh, Chet warns Trish, his girlfriend, ahead of time, that, hey, she's a witch. She does things with potions and all of that stuff, but she's really cool. It's Gucci. It's fine. So they go there, and Lamia, even though they've had no contact, is already aware that they're coming. Um, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> snap, snap. Okay, so... Essentials. Um, Who, what, where, when, why. Yes, what's the yes, theme? Yes, what's going on? Yes. No spoilers. Give me a minute. Okay. okay, I'm giving you a minute. So, long story short, Lamia kills Chet uh, because oh. she's a witch and uh, wants his blood and wants his child. So she keeps Trish, whatever. So Lamia kills Chet. Um, he, okay, so an angel uh, named Senoi oh. gives him a knife and is like, hey, head on down to Purgatory, find yourself a key. It's like an it's like a mythical spiritual key or whatever that's supposed to help release because Senoi is trapped on this little island where Lamia lives. Wait, who's Senoi? The angel. Okay. So Chet heads on down 
to Purgatory to find the key, and his grandfather Gavin has the key, supposedly. Which his grandfather Gavin killed his kids, and then himself. Oh. We'll get into more later. Um, <clears throat> so, he heads down to Purgatory, and um, he meets, meets a lady named Anna, and they're kind of buddy buddies. They go through Purgatory together. Um, and there's also, so Purgatory is, it's Purgatory, but it's kind of just like a world that's run by, like, old gods, and then what they call, um, the one gods, who are, like, you know, God, Jesus, whatever. So, uh, in this world, all gods exist. Okay. Um, so, and there's also the people who kind of run Purgatory, uh, they're called the Green Coats. Their, their mission is to kill the gods. Okay. And create purgatory to be a place for the souls. Okay. Um, because they're all souls there. And they have um, a thing called Ba. Is it Ba or is it Ka? It could be either. It could Ra. be both. We don't know. Um, Which is like their... It's not their like flesh. It's almost like a clay. But it's them. Okay. They're like... They're alive and physical. And... But like it's... We'll get into that. More. I was going to say. So, keep, yes. Keep, so, keep going. Um, and the green coats are run by a man named Carlos. Um, the green coats are run, run by a man named Bob. Well, Car- but Why at least, I, just, at least no, I think it's Carlos. So there's Carlos and then there's a, yeah, okay. Anyhow. So that's the quick five minute thing. So oh, okay, so hold so on. It's, so it's, the story is. Who's uh, going where to do okay, what? Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Okay. So Chet and Anna are trying to find well, actually, I don't think Anna knows. So Chet is trying to find the key and his grandfather, Gavin. He's being hunted by the green coats because shit happens. Um, and that's that. Oh. That's a quick five minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, right? okay, so he goes to... Alright, so Chet dies because he... he... Gets killed by Lamia. Okay, because his... Oh, wait, I thought this lady he impregnated. No, no, no. Trish is his pregnant girlfriend. Lamia okay. killed him and is keeping Trish to keep the baby because the baby is her bloodline and she needs her bloodline to continue living. Not Chet? He's not her bloodline? Well, he is, but she needs a female bloodline oh. and the kid is a baby girl. Baby big girl. Stop, I burped a little bit in between there. Baby <laughs> girl. Yeah. Alright, so, anyways, he dies, goes all Dante Inferno mixed with Rambo. <laughs> Yeah. Don- <clears throat> Dante's Inferno mixed with Rambo goes to Purgatory yeah. and, uh, like, takes an M60 machine gun. And just... Actually, and... no, no, no. Oh, oh God, no, no, please no. tell no, me no, there's no, no. That's a, a, thing. a, like, soul machine gun No, thing. no, no. Guns are super rare in Purgatory. So if you have a revolver or a shotgun, you are ahead of the game. Oh, buddy, that's fun. So if okay. people just have, like, machetes and clubs and shit. Um, oh, yeah. So, and the thing is, too, so with their ba, we're going to call it. <laughs> what? I, that sound like if there was just ra, like an R instead of a B, I, that would seem more fantastical. This is well, ba. Ra's the, I think of like Ra's a, the Egyptian god of oh. the sun. Wait, ra? Yeah, oh. ra. Yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking. Yeah. I just, <clears throat> when you say ba, I think of like just a fat sheep just with a very okay. big glare going, it, ba. Well, so it might have had... <laughs> It could be Ka, but I'm fairly certain it's Ba. All right. No, 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 wait. It's it's Ah. Because something. there are Ka coins. Ka coins. Ka coins. Ka. Like a okay. crow. Okay. It says a crow now in my head. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So either way. Okay, yes. They go to purgatory. He goes to purgatory mm-hmm. and meets Anna. Okay. Um. They cross the river sticks. The sticks. The. R- the river that, sticks. Yeah. That. Um, which there are multiple rivers. So the oh. river sticks. If you fall into the river, um, or jump into the river, or try to swim across the river, it's pretty much internal. Or like you just. You just die. No. Oh. You don't die. You kind of just are in agony the rest of your oh. existence, which is forever. <clears throat> uh, and Perfect. then there's also the other river, which I can't remember which what it's called, but it's pretty much a peaceful. Death. It's the ante. Yeah, you die. Yeah, okay. But it's a very peaceful passing. Like, it gives you just a sense of calm and whatever, but I cannot remember what it's called. So, what is... Like, 
Not to go. So what is his goal throughout all this? What oh, is he trying shit. to do? What's the end goal? What, is he trying to get out? Yeah. Is he trying to kill people? No, is he no, trying to no. be No, he's trying to find Gavin, his grandfather, and find the key, and get back up, and, oh, right. and release uh, Senoi, and <clears throat> um, um, save his girlfriend, Trish. Well, okay, wife. Okay, gotcha. Wife. They agreed to get married, so he calls calls her his wife. Okay. Um, Alright. So that's the goal. Boom! Yeah. I Honestly, said you that kind like of have three me sold. times. I'm oh, sorry, it's I'm fantastic. not... Yeah, I'm I fantastic. I think he was... Love it, and the narrator is fantastic. <laughs> like he has that like deep rumbly voice, but he's able to like change it to like it's it's fantastic. Okay. Um, which if there's a way you should try and go onto Audible, find the sample of the story, and insert it because Audible has samples. You and, could. And we're gonna insert that now, or something, or, uh, or something or not. else. Yeah, or not, and. There that, you go! It's just the technical difficulties thing. <laughs> I was thinking of just a sheep going, <laughs> <laughs> That could work too. Um, so we'll, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll there you see. go. Happy you enjoyed that Audible clip. Sponsored by Audible. I probably shouldn't say that. Not sponsored by Audible. We want to be sponsored Unless by Audible. Unless we are sponsored by Audible. Please, we're probably Audible. Not. I would love. Please, Audible. We will. Please. We will check so many. I use Audible penises. so much. We um, both do, honestly. Well, you can well, say you penises do. if you wanna. If you wanna be sponsored by Audible. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God. So okay. okay, real quick, <clears throat> before you get into the uh, yeah, oh, oh, before you, um, before you get into the nitty gritty of stuff of the rest of the story, yeah, you said go, he goes down to purgatory. Yes, I can explain that a little bit. Okay, that's an actual thing in the book. Yes. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, literally, he goes down. Down. Okay. Down. I that's always like something. I, I didn't know if that was like a thing that people think about differently, but I always think purgatory is up, not down. Oh. No, well, Purgatory is very close to hell. Oh, I didn't know that. In this book, it is, at least. Okay. Um, and I apologize, you're probably hearing my straw move a lot, because I'm just guzzling my own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. uh, oh. Well, go, uh, the thing I wanted to say about the Ka. Ka, okay. We're gonna call it the Ka. Sure. That's probably um, right. You're gonna get like, just so many people telling you that it's wrong. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> the like four people that's read this book because it's definitely not a popular one. I looked on fucking uh um so I found it on thrift books for like seven bucks, but on Amazon it's like forty five. Um it's not a like well known book or whatever. Okay. Um they're cop in purgatory, the reason not the reason why it comes on probably, but um so, okay, do you want me to explain that, or do you want me just to start from the beginning of the book and just talk you through it? Um, let's just start from the beginning of the okay. book and talk me through it. Just, okay. Just go at it. Just... Okay, Chet Moran. Um, he has red hair and pale blue eyes, which is weird because I always pictured him as black because he's from down south and whatever. Um, so, okay, so I'm super stoked about this book. Okay. Um, there was a little bit in the middle where... Yeah, I was really debating stopping listening to it. I do genuinely think had I read it and not listened to it, I would have stuck through it and read through it a lot faster. Um, but that's just the consequence of listening to a book is that you have to deal with the narrator and the narrator's pacing. Sure. Instead of just reading through or skimming in my case. <laughs> um, okay, so Chet Moran, um, in the beginning, very, very, very beginning of the book. Um, he's just getting out of prison for drug charges for um, selling and distributing whatnot. Not too bad. Um, but right before he, or at the beginning of him going to prison or jail or whatever, yeah. because there's a difference, um, <clears throat> he gets a letter from his girlfriend, Trish, saying that she's pregnant and she's decided to keep the baby, but that she's pretty much like, I'm relieving you of all responsibility once you get out of prison. Go on your way. Do whatever you want. You don't have to be a part of this. Um, he okay. then decides that he's gonna get his shit straight. He's gonna provide for them 
So after he gets out, the first thing he does is sell his prized Mustang and trade it in for some old shitty, uh, what wagon? Volkswagen? Not a Volkswagen. Station wagon. Station oh, okay. Is it old okay. shitty? It might not have been a station wagon. Don't quote me on that. Not that a Volkswagen is shitty. That's the first thing I came <laughs> Cause I, but, Oh, God, I would love a Volkswagen uh, Golf. But, uh, <laughs> um, so he goes... Welcome to the, the Terry Talks About Cars winery. Hence me drinking the rest of my rum and coke. <laughs> um, Holy shit, you're... Dude. This, I'm a nervous drinker. You, okay, we need to take a straw away from you, because you need to, like... I'm feeling great. We're chill. Fine. We're Gucci. We have a job to do. I'm Today feeling... on the rum and coke winery. Today on the Rachel gets shit-faced and... <laughs> Rants about books you just read. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the book winery, it's the book shit faced. <laughs> it's the it's the shit faced readery. <laughs> Welcome to the shit faced readery. Face that over when I introduce the show. We're changing it to the shit faced readery. I like that. Um, Dear Audible, if you are okay with people swearing, please oh, yeah. let that be the name of the show. Well, Audible will sponsor anyone who asks, honestly. They're kind of like the um, raid legends. I probably yeah. shouldn't say anything about that because apparently they pay a lot. And oh, honestly, shit. I'm enough of no, a no, no. hoe to sell myself out to them. TikTok so. is literally paying for like gamer girls to go to League of Legends <laughs> Things in Paris. Yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah. Or whatever you were watching. Right oh now. yeah, the Atozi. Yeah. Um, hi Atozi, I like your video. Um, is Atozi listen? Atozi, I really hope so. He's the one guy. His girlfriend is Hannah. And she's oh, like, with the with yeah, the car thing in the with background. With the mat in the back, yeah. Can I get that tattooed on my back? As long as you let me drive Hot Wheels cars over. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the point. Can I get a little Barbie Hot Wheels car? Oh yeah. But then also a giant monster car. Monster truck to just <laughs> yeah yeah it'll be fantastic. Die Barbie. Sasha, stop standing on his computer. That's oh, fine. It's free. Yeah, but it gets fixed for free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it breaks, it's free. Okay. Anywho. Books. Welcome to the There's a reason why people shepherds. ramble so much on podcasts. It's because you just start talking and you just keep talking and. Yeah, but that's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> well, if right. it's annoying, then stay on topic. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so Chet, okay. so Chet goes down to hell no, with okay, a stop, machine stop. gun stop. and stop. No. an ice pick. No, because it has the stop. soul of ice in it. Stop. And stop. 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 <laughs> Let me fucking talk about this book. <laughs> stop interrupting. I know I just sniffed, but <laughs> deal with it. That's your punishment. Um. Okay. So his. Uh, girlfriend Trish, who's pregnant, uh, her dad is super strict. I don't, I feel like he's either really religious or a pastor. I could be wrong about both. Keep in are, mind, I listened to are this. Are they different? Is there any According difference? According to my dad, no. <laughs> um, thanks, dad. Thanks, dad. Yeah. Um, for the childhood trauma and daddy issues. Um. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> no, Hannah will love that. <laughs> I mean, you know, she got super excited when we gave her that shout out. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Okay, you're leaving this in, please. Our, okay, yeah. Please. Our Anytime one... we mention Hannah's name, we have to leave it in. Our one she's, listener. I was going to say, she's going to be our first and only fan. <laughs> I'm a loyal fan. Hannah. Okay, Jesus Holy fucking shit. Christ. Okay, okay, so check goes to hell. Can you stop? And he has a double barrel shotgun stop. and a doom guy outfit. And... Cease right. and desist. All right, I'm Let done. me I'm done. fucking hey. talk. Okay. I'm done. Better be, because I'm out of alcohol, so I don't have time for your shit. Um, do, you need to get a, do you need to reload? No, I shouldn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are we sure about that? I want to, but I shouldn't. I'm, well, trying, to be spot, I'm trying to be responsible. Stop. How about Let me wait at least talk. At least halfway yes, that's on why this I was, thing. I was going to wait until you were fully done. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Chet Moran goes to his girlfriend Trish's house. It's not her house, it's her dad's house. So I'm just gonna say right off the bat. <laughs> Stop. Nothing. Um, I have <laughs> no idea how old these people are. They're like. I have no idea. They could be like teenagers, they could be adults. I'm assuming they're adults because he was in jail and not juvie. Anyways, um, so he 
gets down on one knee with a ring and he's like, look, I pawned off my car for a shittier car and a ring. Thank you, Chibi. Um, and he's like, I will take care of you. I will take care of our baby. I will get an actual job and not sell drugs. He's like, I got my shit straight the moment you said we were pregnant. Let's run away and start a life. He's like, we can go to my grandmother's house and stay there until I can get enough money. Um, she agrees. Um, so she hops out of her bedroom window and, um... She can't just go out the front door? No, because her dad is super, super strict. Oh. She's staying with him. And, um... Oh, and her dad said that if he caught Chet around her again, he would shoot. What? <laughs> and because he was in high enough standing to where he could get it just wiped off. So, um, Chet and Trish get in his old shitty car, and as they do... Uh, a couple of his dad's friends, because it's like five o'clock in the morning at this point. Um, but so are you listening? Stop playing with the cat in the snow. I'm listening. Um, so <laughs> her, they're having to hurry because her dad is going on a fishing trip with his friends. Yeah. And one of those friends is Coach, who is uh was an old coach of Chet of Chet's, and Coach hates Chet with a burning passion because there was a point where Chet punched coach right in the face when when he was a kid as most children yeah. do That's don't fine. don't remember why um well because he's the coach yeah but so um yeah he was really mad because then his nickname amongst everybody was shiner um <laughs> and of course he's he's a coach so he's like so testosterone fueled that it's ridiculous and a little bit painful um so chet and trish managed to get away in the truck um and as they're leaving, uh, they hit Coach. Gotcha. Uh, Chet's hoping that he's fine. Spoiler alert! Yeah, we're, we're right past... We probably should have... Dies! Oh. <laughs> he kills that <laughs> fucker. Um, so they run away. They ditch their car, steal a different one, and then they head to Lania's, who's his grandmother. Uh, she lives on Island? This is somewhere what? down south. I don't really know. I don't understand. That's this one thing, rich old that's, chick has an island. That's one thing I so I simultaneously love and hate about this book is that it's it's detailed in it's like overly detailed in the perfect ways and then under detailed in the worst ways. I you know I can understand that like, honestly. Like for Chet, I didn't. I thought he was black up until like three fourths of the way through, and then everyone was like, all of a sudden, like, oh, this pale blue eyed kid with red hair, this red haired blue eyed kid. That yep. This pale eyed kid, and then I'm just like, pale eyed boy. Yeah, and I'm like, wait, the fuck? <laughs> because because the narrator narrated everybody with a southern accent. That could be a little bit, weird. but like when I hear that, I just the. <laughs> Way either way, they were underdescribed, and yes. they were un- either. And if I'm gonna assume the wrong amount a, of detail, a very old Southern witch, I'm gonna assume is gonna be like you know black. Well, yeah. Am I wrong in that though? I mean, I, but then no. it turns out that she's from like Croatia or some shit like that. Oh. But I don't know. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> either way, minorly. Uh, yeah. So whatever aside, uh, I hope you know this is gonna be a really long thing for you to edit because That's fine. Uh, yeah, we the, the last one was like an hour and a half, and we're already way more co- coherent on our topic, so this will probably be pretty easy. Okay. To edit, I'm not too. Busy. <sighs> okay, that was an intentional sigh. You can leave that one in. That's fine. Um, I figure. So Lamy is a witch. I okay, real quick. I now that you said it, every time I you say, say Lamia, you're... I hear Labia. Yeah, yeah, it's hard just not to. auto-correct your brain to labia. <laughs> so I'm just call it, gonna call her labia. Alright, so um, labia. Labia. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the labia was just out flailing in the wings. So there um, I was, barbecue <laughs> sauce on my labia, and then I killed my okay. grandson. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> Chet's mom killed herself <laughs> Oh. when he was young, and that was the only time he ever met labia. 
because <laughs> blame me. Um, because of the funeral. <laughs> and so Lamia then did a thing where uh, she like shared their blood, her and Chet, even though he was a kid. So he always thought as he was growing up, as he was an adult, things like that. <sighs> Jesus, now I'm getting tired. I'm really trying to keep doing this. It's time um, to go to bed. <laughs> Some of them are natural. Jesus Christ, we haven't even gotten past the first fucking chapter. He's not even dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> Prime in here. Okay. He hears her. They're connected through the blood because she shares it. Um, she's an evil son of a bitch. Um, she... Okay. So, his grandfather Gaffin was in the military, I believe, during World War II, and it fucked him up. And that's where he met Lamia, because Lamia was in, like, a concentration camp type of bullshit. Oh. Um, and she was in the process of getting burned at the stake, because they were like, this bitch is a witch. (laughs) <laughs> um, turns out, the reason why Gavin decided to save her was because she did her little voodoo spell thing to uh. enchant him. Uh, so they moved back to the U.S. They're fine and dandy. They had three kids, two boys and a daughter. And he, Gavin, his grandfather, is an alcoholic, abusive piece of shit. Yeah. Was, um... He then snaps, kills his sons, and attempts to kill his daughter and Lamia. Um, Lamia lives, despite having gotten shot. The daughter lives, which is Chet's mother. Yeah. Um, ah, oh shit. Well, there's things... Just keep going with the main story. Alright, so, yes, 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 grand, yes, yes, granddad's yes, yes. dead. Okay. He thinks bad yes. of him, so I just, I just about to kick you just straight up glaring at you, and she was just like, <laughs> just <laughs> did the like you know, eh thing. I feel the same way, Sasha. It's fine. I um, feel you, mate. Feel you. Okay. I right, Jesus dies. fucking Christ. No, Chet Tell has me not about died. Chet. All right, so okay. Chet's dead. No. All right, so <laughs> Chet's dead. Not yet. So her fucking sons, Come on. who were Come dead. On. She turned into demons. So this yeah. island that she's on, there's like a graveyard and some shit. And so it's full of the souls of her children who she's killed. Nice. And uh, her two sons who she turned into demons. And I don't really remember what started. Oh, it was that she found out that Trish was having a girl. So she was like, well, fuck, now I have somebody to put my whatever into because blame you. spoiler alert we're right past spoiler you, you yeah. hear me saying spoilers okay. this I'm going to good job thank uh, you for being diligent in your every time I say something that happens later on in the story I'm going to say spoiler alert <laughs> you, t- um, you don't I'm have to I'm going to it makes me feel better alright my morals alright um she's a Lilith which is like an old god type thing yeah isn't she um um She's like the 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 partner of Satan. I have no clue. Sa- I, that's from another book series. That's from Incarnations of oh, Immortality. Oh, okay. I don't know. She's well, a that. <laughs> quick sign note. Welcome to the Book of Ikari. Um. <laughs> You've been drinking tequila. Oh, that's right. You're drinking an ass. Welcome to Ole Ola to the uh, El Caso El Taco it's really book. Oh, I'm trying to speak Spanish. Yeah. I know Spanish. Book tequila are No, l- <clears throat> Did l- you l- have something to say, or can I keep yeah, no, l- fucking l- getting through the first chapter? At least I hope her name is Lilith, or else I'm in a world of trouble. Um, Lilith from that, uh, the sixth one, for Love of Evil. Yeah. She's such a, such a good character in that. Uh, well, this one isn't. <laughs> bet- oh, between her and Satan. They're- oh my god. Yeah, this is completely different. Um, Alright, back to you. So... <laughs> um, Chet at one point, um, so Man, let me, okay, moment. let me at least get to the point where Chet dies. Yeah, I'm please, for the love of okay. God, kill him already. For the love of evil. <laughs> <laughs> or no, because um, he's going to purgatory, for the love of... No, I was making a joke because the <laughs> book you were talking about, for the love of Jesus fucking Christ, let me talk. For the love of... <laughs> <laughs> get Quit looking at me, cat. Okay, so, Jesus fucking Christ. So, Chet comes across her demon children, and she breaks it to him that, like, yeah, they're demons, whatever. And 
So he he dies. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, wait, that that quick? He just yeah, he Lamia just sees him. him. He's just like <laughs> oh, <Uy> vey, <laughs> and just dies. Lamia kills him. How? Uh, Magic? A knife? Me, I think she Poison? slit his throat. A dildo? I think she slit his throat. I'm sorry, Hannah. This is really bad. Um, I think she slit his throat. And then, so his soul kind of pops on out, and he can watch her. <laughs> he just yeah, pops on out. He's watching her uh, drink his blood. Nice. And he's seeing all the spirits. His souls of all the, like, thousands. Literally thousands of, like, her children that she's killed. That's for awesome. This, for this sake. Um, which they come, and, like, the normal people, people would see them as like fireflies but then you start oh. to notice that they're going in pairs like little eyes oh um, i like it i will say this book has so many good visuals holy shit um jets kills oh so there's he one little that. ghost his name is joshua and he just wants to go back to heaven to see his mom um <laughs> and then there is the angel senoi um both joshua and senoi kind of find Chet and are like, hey, this shit ain't right. Let's let's help you. Because <laughs> Joshua is relying on Senoi to get him to heaven. Senoi's relying on the key. So he's like, hey, Chet, why don't you head on down to purgatory? Find yourself the key. Um, go find your grandfather who might have the key. Um, so Joshua shows Chet how to Phase shift down through the graveyard dirt into purgatory. Whoa, okay. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. Nice. Um. All right, whatever. So he's, he's in, in purgatory. purgatory. So it's yeah. pretty much just like underground tunnels that are like a maze. And as he's walking, um, because Joshua leaves him at that time. Joshua's backup. He's fine. Okay. Um, and Joshua's a little boy. He's a normal okay. boy. He's my favorite character. Yeah. Um. So so he's walking through these maze-like tunnels. And as he's going, he's, like, meeting people who are freaking out or not realizing they're dead, and they're all trying to get wherever. Um, and he also sees a lot of babies. Nice. Um, so he finally gets to the River Styx, hops half the board of boat, and so he's a soul at this point. He's yeah. just kind of a ghost. Um, and I believe he at one point picked up a kid and was, like, <laughs> carrying this kid with him. Um, and... <laughs> on this boat, there was a woman who was also holding a kid, but she was speaking a different language, so she they couldn't understand each other on, like, what the fuck they were doing. So they were heading on the boat. River sticks, whatever. Um, ooh, the angel, Senoi, gave Chet a knife and a bag full of pennies. <laughs> it makes sense, because copper is the way to go in purgatory. That's how you buy everything. Okay. With, like, one penny, you could buy a fucking load of slaves. Um, oh, trust me. Um, geez. so real quick, you had mentioned um <clears throat> that he's a ghost. Yep. As they're going along the boat, yeah, they can start to feel they're like becoming more flesh. Oh. Um, and then they start to be. They realize that they can understand each other. Oh. And people that are like super old and crippled, like there's one guy who's carrying like a crippled old man on his back. Um, like they become themselves in their prime. Okay. Um, and so Chet and Anna kind of get along, you know. So they hit the other side of the riverbed, um, and they hop off the boat, and there are green coats there, and Carlos is the main guy there, I believe. Um, I'm not gonna fact check myself because who the fuck cares? Who cares? Um, no one's gonna read this book. No one's ever gonna read um, any of this. Wow. Um. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the rule is to get into purgatory, you either have to pay with metal, preferably copper, or a pound of flesh. Um, are you raising your hand or just itching your head? I'm just itching my head. Okay. Sorry. Um. <laughs> um. So you in the back? Do you have a question or can I not care about you? I don't care about you anyways. I don't um, care. It's two of us. So the rule is to get into purgatory, you have to pay with mm. metal, preferably copper, or a pound of flesh. Okay. Um. If you don't have metal of any kind on your body, because when you're there, you have just whatever you had on you when you died. Gotcha. Um, which, and Chet had a bag of pennies. But, so if you chose to pay with a pound of flesh, you got your hand cut off. If you chose to take a child over with you, the children either got thrown back into the river, 
because they don't grow up. They're just kids. Or you have to have two pounds of flesh cut off, so like your arm or two hands. Um, okay. But that's just the green coats. <laughs> so, uh, here you get introduced to the red lady, who is a sphinx. She graces the cover of the book, and um, so <laughs> you know what a sphinx looks like, you know? Nope. Body of a lion, wings of an eagle. Okay. Face and upper torso of a woman. Um, I actually didn't know that last bit. Yeah. I don't know if that's it for all of them. But okay, I, was just, I thought it was always just the, the body of a lion and wings of an eagle. So she's known as the Red Woman. Okay. Like or, from uh, Song of Ice and Fire. Or her name is Sekhmet. Okay. She kind of like protects a group of women who take on infants and children to bring to the other river to kind of just let them go on peacefully. That's where you meet them. They don't really play that much of a part. Uh <laughs> I have a really bad memory. <laughs> That's where you meet them, but fuck them. They don't ever come up? No, 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 they do. They absolutely <laughs> do. But not for a little while. They're pretty much just like, hey, Anna, you can come and join us and help take care of the kids. And Anna's just like, no, I'm good. I'm Gucci. I'm <laughs> no. Yeah, no, she pretty much is just like, yeah, I'm good. Um, <laughs> so, but they help Chet, they tell Chet about a blood seeker. Something like that. It's pretty much like a, a witchy whatever. They can find your ancestors for you. Okay. So they, they go and tell him about them. So it's Chet, Anna, and then this other guy um, who just kind of tags along. He doesn't stay around for very long. Um, so they end up finding Yevabog. I'm looking these up just because I've listened to their names being said, but I don't know how they look. So I just, I have a page. Oh, I'm yeah, not going to be searching. I'm just. Good. I want to make sure I'm saying their names correctly. Mm-hmm. So, Yevabog is <laughs> like a spider goddess. Ooh, okay. Um, and she has her husbands who were strung up over the ceiling. They're just souls, you know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So they uh-huh. ask Yevabog for aid in finding Gavin. So she helps Chet find Gavin. And they run into the green coats here again. Because when they first came across the river... Chet had a problem with Carlos. Something happened. I don't really fully remember. This is like a fucking two weeks ago that I listened to this. <laughs> I think um, you just finished this. I did. It just took me a really long time. Because there was a section oh, between... Oh, right, I like. Okay. I listened to the first bit, and I was like, fuck yeah, this is fantastic. And then it hit the middle bit, and I was just like, I don't really know what's going on. It's kind of boring. <laughs> um, so it took me a little while, and then the last bit, I was like, fuck yeah. Um, okay. So they finally have, you have a bog. Um, one thing leads to another. Chet and Anna are running away from the green coats. Wait, the green coats are bad now? Yeah, no, they've always been bad. Oh. They're I the ones who that. want to kill the gods, but they're just, oh. they're very like, purgatory is ours, we're gonna make the rules, this is, this is our place now, if you don't follow these rules, we'll fuck you up. Okay. And see, the thing too, what I've been trying to say, since we literally started this, so the thing about Ka. Okay. themselves shit can happen to your body and it can get fixed okay with cog coins which is pretty much not cock coins Terry. <laughs> no i'm not thinking that i'm it just coins. it just sounds silly well sounds better in the term <coughs> um but they're pretty much little coins of flesh where okay. you eat them and like it depends on what your injuries are but like if you have a broken arm you can eat one cog coin and your arm will be fixed okay um you can get beheaded which is a very common thing um, where if you're beheaded, your head can be kept, and you're still conscious, still there, whatever. Um, but if you eat enough cod coins, your body can come back. Um. Wait, so, can they get, like, so, the, so their head is still there, it's yep. still cognizant, it's still mm-hmm. them and everything, so they eat the cod coins in their I, if you're gonna disembodied talk about head. The, if you're gonna talk about the digestive system, I'm gonna beat you the fuck up. No, I was just legitimately curious oh. how they're eating the cod coins if they don't just, have a head. No, they do have a head. No, I know. That's that's what I was asking about. Yeah. Is if they were just, like, holding their head and, like, feeding yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. That, that. Pretty much. Exactly okay. that. Wait, you so where do, they get, them out. where do they get beheaded, then? Because you can. It's purgatory. Everyone's just torturing and fucking up other people. Cool. It's, like, it's, hell. No, no, no. It that's is pretty a, awful. It is, yeah, no, that's a form of torture, where it's either, <laughs> like, like, because the only way to release, like, your soul or whatever is by bashing the head in, or, like, 
skewering the head, you know, kind of like a zombie. Okay. Um, so if you're beheaded, you're fucked. You can't do anything unless somebody takes you out of your misery or feeds you a bunch of car coins. Okay. Which cock coins are fairly rare because they're used out of the bodies of other people. Okay. Or made out of the body of other people, you know. Um, <laughs> so, the green coats don't like Chet. Okay. Why? I don't remember. <laughs> they, uh, I think because Chet was just an asshole. Fuck that kid. Well, and because, so the green coats are trying to kill the gods, and the red lady, the red lady, not the red woman, the red lady, could be either, could be both. I don't really know. Sure. She's like number one on their target list because her. Her entire thing is protecting the souls. So they're like, we gotta kill her, and then we can kill the gods. But Chet was protected by her. Okay. Because Anna had a baby with her. Okay. So anyways, one thing leads to another, and <clears throat> Chet steals, like, a soul skeleton horse from a god. Nice! Um, ends up sick. Ends up killing it. Oh. And this god is, um... Jesus. Vele- Velis? Oh. Velis. God, how cool would that be? It's just oh, Jesus. It is, it is the red lady. <laughs> just riding bareback on a skeleton horse in Purgatorio, then M60. Why do I keep going back to an M60 machine gun? Rachel? I don't know. I think we have problems. Problem. So, um, to try and get away, he steals a skeleton soul horse from Velus and kills the horse. Oh. So, Velus is like, yeah, fuck you. Um, oh shit, it is. Their ba. Their ba is their soul. But I think ka is what their soul is in. Okay. Not their body? It's kind of the same thing. So Velas decides to keep Chet and Anna as slaves. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Wait, because so he what did he kill? His, because he <clears throat> killed his horse. Why? Did he ride was it try- too hard? He did was, he try no, to no, attack he was trying. He was trying it? to run away because he was trying to get onto the caravan, caravan that Velas had. But... Carlos, the green coat guy who has a problem with him and is trying to kill him, was there at the entrance. So Chet was like, hey, we're going to sneak around. We're going to steal this horse. Me and Anna are going to get the fuck out of Dodge. Um, The horse did not comply and instead ran into a wall and died. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crappy horse. I mean, I know in Minecraft, like whenever I've ridden my horse and it's just like, pretty runs much off that. the edge. Pretty much that. Bell dang horses. Bell Wait, hold on. I want to see if we can pick this up on the recording. This isn't going to make it in unless we decide for it to. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> you just killed yourself on I'll say, now Terry's in purgatory. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh. <coughs> um, and wreck. Um, we have a duty. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, Terry has a duty for you. Um, <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> You're such an adult. We're never gonna get through this. <laughs> All right, so okay. Chet's in hell. Purgatory. Same thing. You bitch. Okay. It, honestly, it seems like this. It sounds like the same it's, thing at this yes, point. Yes, it sounds like it. That's it's the just point. It's purgatory. purgatory. It is purgatory. So okay. They call it is purgatory. No, I'm, I'm fine. No, that's fine. Mm-hmm. So the question that I have to raise then is if this is purgatory. The question I have to ask is, if this is purgatory, then how much worse is hell? A lot worse, to the point where they avoid demons at all costs. But, like, they it don't already... They be brought down. No, that's... It already sounds like a never-ending land of torture, for the yeah, most part. Yeah, no, 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 it is. No, purgatory does. Yes, I know, it is. So, okay. Yeah. Purgatory is just where you go until you decide you believe in a certain type of god, and then once you believe in a god, then that god decides what they want to do with you. Or... You get sucked in by demons, and you go to hell, and then you it's fun time. It's pretty terrifying. It's fantastic. You would love it. I have a, <clears throat> I have another question, though. No. Slightly serious. I'm not trying to be super sarcastic, though, but what is the... Slightly sarcastic. Like, 25% sarcastic. But what is um the difference, though, between a spirit and a ghost? Is it kind of like magma and lava, where it depends on the context of... No, seriously, seriously. Is it like a ghost... Ghosts in... are never brought up. <clears throat> it's just no, souls. Yeah, but you said that earlier. You said I that said earlier. Like, you, you were like, he's a ghost. Like a ghost so that you would understand what I was meaning. No, but that's what I mean. Is in the it, What's the difference between a ghost and a spirit? Is it just like a ghost is a spirit inhabiting the real world? Kind of like magma is lava that's in underneath the ground. And then it comes above the ground and it's lava. 
kind of like <laughs> and Rachel shotguns a rum and coke. I'm... So Chet's a slave. <laughs> so Chet's in hell. Can you stop <laughs> saying that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa now. No, it's actually making me mad. <laughs> that would that would put us in the context of believing in something, and then we would have to decide our fate in purgatory. Or Jesus would have to decide our fate in purgatory. Jesus is technically considered one of the one gods. Oh, buddy. Because people consider God and Jesus, whatever the fuck. One, the one <clears throat> God. The one. So they're called... You shush now, <laughs> Sasha. It is not food time. Oh, Just you. sitting over there going... Hungry. Um, okay. So you're gonna like this part. So they're chained to a fucking golem. Nice. So it's like a giant... I wonder if they can hear that. So it's just this giant fucking bitch who, um, they're, like, chained to carts that are strung up behind her, I think. Um, this is where, uh, Chet meets Otto. Otto is, like, an old African guy. Not old, but he's African. He's, like, old school. He's been there a while. Yeah, he's been there a long time. And, um, so one thing leads to another, and there's, uh... Fucking uh, <laughs> battle. Nice. Um, it's, I was hoping you were no, gonna say that. It's an arena. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so the gods all get together for a little powwow. Okay. They so they have a bunch of slaves that they just shove into an arena um, in full red body paint and helmets, and if they're lucky, a weapon. And then they send out their champions, which they use um like god's blood and car coins. Ba- no, it's car coins. Fuck off, I know it is. Um, the Ba and then Cock <coughs> Ones. Okay. Um, so these champions are like fucking monsters. Okay. So, um, and each slave, before they go out into the arena, is given, um, like they have a big, like, shackle type thing around their wrist, like a ring. Okay. So the goal is for the God's champions. So, the goal is for the God's champions to get six rings. Okay. Those rings are the ones that are attached to the slave's wrists. <laughs> so, the thing is, is that you can either just cut off a slave's hand and steal the ring, or just fucking kill the bitch and take their ring afterwards. Okay. Um, so, the, there are multiple rounds of this. Um, the first round is, of course, you know, just everybody out there at first. Just a free for all. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, so then once one of the gods gets six, or not gods, but gods champions get six rings, um, then it ends, and everybody who's, all the slaves who still have their rings get caw coins to kind of get their health booed back up. The ones who don't have their rings but are still alive are just kind of, you know, shoot out. Um, okay. Second round is still the same. The gods champions still have to get six rings, but now there's less slaves, so you have greater chance of dying Mm -hmm. so chet Otto, and coach who chet killed is there which coach has tried to kill chet a couple of times oh buddy now they're all teamed up they're going for it and the thing is is that if a slave manages to get past all three rounds with their ring still on their wrist okay they're a free soul they're no longer a slave they're just on their own so, real quick, what's mm-hmm. the distinction then between, like, just being a regular soul there and being a slave soul? Being a slave soul means you get caught and you get shackled up and then you're a slave. But what do you do when you're a slave? Work. Okay. I don't fucking know. It doesn't really explain <laughs> it. But I, I'm just trying to understand it, why they would have slaves if they already really... own all of them. No, 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 they don't. But they do, because they're they the gods. Don't. Yeah, but old gods are kind of like forgotten gods. That's why it's called the lost gods. Okay. I don't really pretend. I don't. I don't pretend to know. What no, no, no. Not. That's like I'm just. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just there for the ride. No, that's fine. I was just legitimately curious if there was like a like a freed soul could go wherever they wanted. No. Versus a literally slave just soul they're, is just they're free to go wherever they want in purgatory because okay. the gods that are there like Belus and um you have a bog those they're old gods they're lost gods they have like no power or say or whatever. Okay. Um. So. Chet, Otto, and Coach make it to the third round. Um, <laughs> however, uh, Coach and Otto die. Oh, no. Chet, oh, and Otto teaches them both how to fight with a sword. No, I was going to ask, uh, what happens when they die? They're, 
their ba leaves their body and they go somewhere. No one knows. It's kind of like now. A super purgatory? Yeah, probably. Um, so Chet does the unthinkable. One of the god's champions gets cut down and his six rings are sprawled out on the ground. <gasps> so Chet grabs those up and puts them in the fucking drop box. Oh, there's a drop box? I don't remember like what it's D2L? called. Like on D2L? What are it's you doing, much... Teaches? Whatever. <laughs> he wins. There's oh. nothing saying he can't, even though he's a slave. He okay. wins. Um, He gets his freedom and a fuck ton of money and car coins. And Ka-caw! so he goes and finds fucking uh, Anna and takes her back. Um, so... Wait, okay, I know you said this before, but which one is Anna? Who's Anna? Who? Anna is just this lady that he becomes friends with. He's the She's... one that he crosses the boat with. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, gotcha. As all this is happening, Carlos, Gavin, Greencoats, um, the Colonel, whatever. Oh, there's a Colonel? Yeah, they're killing gods. Oh, okay. Because they have a thing called <sighs> an angel blade. Nice. Um, And that's like the only thing that can kill a god. Okay. But when they kill a god, and this is why uh, you talking about fucking dismemberment made me think of it, you can't really kill them. Okay. So what you do, or what they do, is they cut off their legs, cut off their hands, cut off their lower jaw, and gouge out one of their eyes, and still chain them up. Okay. So they can't do anything. <laughs> so they have one god like that, they end up killing him. And then they're... They do that to Velas, uh, who is the god that it's that Chet's under. Okay. Under his protection or whatever. Um, okay. All right, so Chet's in hell. <laughs> if you say that one more time, I'm dumping this drink on your head. <laughs> um, all right, all right, so Chet wins the rings. Chet's free, man. Chet's a free soul. Chet's a free soul. What does he do? Does he go to Disney World? Does he go to get some poon tags? Does he go down to Las Vegas? He goes and to find Gavin. Away? Okay, he goes to find Gavin. Gra- What's he do? His What's... grandfather. All right, cool. What's okay, he do there? Okay, does he get okay, the key? He gets okay, the key. Jesus he gets the, he gets the world Christ. negative one on Mario, and then he <clears throat> passes that, and boom! Gets Princess Peach, wins the day. Boom! Go. Long story short, he finds his grandfather. Yeah. They become buddy buddies. And his grandfather um, spills to him... His grandfather spills to him, to Chet, that Lamia, um, which now at this point, Trish has given birth, and Lamia has been feeding off of her baby, drinking her blood. Um, so, (laughs) trying to be polite. Um, so, he spills the fucking tea, and is like, hey, no. Lay me. I did not kill them kill without a reason. His kids, and he didn't try to kill Lamia without a reason, because his his grandfather Gavin killed <laughs> his two sons and attempted oh, to kill Lamia okay. and his daughter. I thought you were talking about Chet. No, no, no. Okay, Aaron, okay. Gavin, yeah, gotcha. the grandfather. All right, so Gavin is trying to redeem himself because Chet at this point thinks that he's a drunk whatever. An asshole who killed his family. Yeah, but Gavin. And then himself. He's like, no, I'm trying to do exactly what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because he is then like, um, which, so, Chet's fully aware that he needs to kill Lamia, but Senoi, the angel, is trying to put her out to be his, uh, good guy. Okay. But then Gavin is like, no, 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 no. <clears throat> the reason why I killed them all was because I walked into our house one day. I pulled up in my car, and I heard my daughter screaming. So, I walk into the house, and Lamy is there, naked, covered in blood, and Senoi is next to her. And off to the side are my two sons, who are not my two sons, but they're just these demon creatures, and they're feeding off of my daughter. Nice. And so he's like, I freak out, they run away, and I kill them. As you would if your children turned to demons. And he's like, I regret it every day. But well, you they don't, but you know, yeah. with it. But he's like, you need to kill Senoi and Lamia because they're evil and they need to die. <laughs> so, big battle happens. The Red Lady comes back. They kill a lot of people. Gavin dies. Um, Chet goes back up to the real world. So using the angel blade that Senoi gave him, he kills Senoi 
kills the two demon kids, and goes in to find Lamia and Trish. They manage to he manages to get Trish and her baby. Amy. Okay. <clears throat> um, but then Lamia kind of stops him. Uh, he kills Lamia, but then Lamia possesses the baby. As you do. So he has to kill the baby. Nice. And then he has to go back to Trish and be like, hey, our kid's fucking dead. I'm dead. I have to go back to purgatory. Uh, but I thought he was so a freed soul. He was a freed soul, but he's still oh, Okay, yeah, he's... Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, bada bing, bada boom. That's it? Mr. Worldwide is the rock out of the room? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pretty much, yeah. Alright, fair enough, I guess. So, why did... What is this key that his grandpa has? Oh. Explain that. Honestly, that... I don't feel like I have much to do. But obviously it does. I mean, that's the whole point of everything. Um, also, Peaches is making some major doe eyes behind you. There you go. She's just sitting by you on the couch. <laughs> just like, please, Mom, pet me. There you go. Um, so... <laughs> Senoi, Senoi the angel <clears throat> is trapped on the island with Lamia. He's in love with Lamia, but Lamia's like, no, bitch, I'm good. Okay. Um, so the only way for Senoi to get back out into the realm of existence is through that key, which is like a mystical key. It can open or create any door. Oh. But this bitch asshole, he tells his poor little boy ghost Joshua, who's been tormented by these two demon boys in his entire life. He tells Joshua that he needs to have that key in order to go back to heaven to see his mom. But turns out, he didn't. Joshua was free to go at any point. So he was there for half a century, sitting there being sad and watching the rabbits and not being able to go back to his mama. Well, his name is Joshua, so what do you expect? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You have a thing I... against guys named Joshua? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Well, that's because you hold on to things a little bit too much. I do, dang it. Uh, Fight me. So, the key comes into play quite a bit, and just in terms of helping Chet and Yavin out quite a bit. But, All right. honestly, I don't... Okay, so I like the book. Hold on, hold on. Before we ask that, no, I just have to ask... Okay, back to the key, though. How did the grandpa get the key, and why does he have the key? Oh, he and stole why is he that... why still holding on he's, to it? He stole that from Senoi when he killed them all. How? It's just a... Stone just, key, yeah. You okay, you just took it. So if he has the key, why can't he bribe Sinnoh Stone or whatever his name is? Sinoi. Sinoi. <clears throat> why can't he bribe Sinoi and be like, hey, I'm going to do exactly what my grandson is going to do two centuries didn't know, from now. He didn't know what the importance was. Okay. He didn't care. Okay, all right. He just had it as a keepsake as a bit fuck you. All right, I'll roll with it. That's fine. And he kept it hidden. So, okay. So. Office, office, no, office. not like a watch. No. <laughs> Got this uncomfortable hunk of metal of my anus. Your dad, your father. Oh, he died from he yeah. died from dysentery. I'm keeping this uncomfortable hunk of chunk up his anus. Hunk of chunk. Hunk of metal up his anus. <laughs> so um, when your dad, that's right. He doesn't know what he's saying. He just, he's like, so when your dad died from dysentery, just in passing, God has a great movie. <laughs> Fucking one with Matt Damon and Leonardo DiCaprio. No, that's full fiction. <laughs> with, with oh, the, oh yeah. Oh god, I can't remember. <laughs> just, Matt Smith. What? No. No, God um, no. That's the Time Matt Lord. Damon. Stop it. No mats. I don't think there's any mats. Fuck you. You just ruined my microphone. Did you need this? No. <laughs> that's fine. Um. No, I still have my favorite book. <laughs> So when you die, you and your dad died of dysentery. Because, you know, he's keeping a piece of metal up his ass. <laughs> okay, about the book. <laughs> oh, shit, there's just a... Oh, God. Okay. So about the book. Do you have any... <laughs> Back to the book, yeah. All Do right. you have any other questions? All right, so he shoots... He guns him down with a machine gun key. Um, That he got no. from hell from Jesus on a skeleton horse. Okay, no, okay, real quick, before you give your rating, I'm going to try to summarize this book. Yes, yeah, yeah, try to All summarize right. <clears throat> No, but be serious about it. Be serious. Alright, so, a uh, drug pusher dude goes to jail, finds out <sighs> his girlfriend's pregnant, gets out of jail seemingly almost instantly, because, you know, it's no, the 50s, later. go for it. Um, it, it, oh, who gets out of jail? 
months later. He just had minor drug charges. Yeah, no one gets minor drug charges. Dude, if you get caught with, like, a small amount of marijuana, know. you go to jail for, like, years. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, we're not going to debate that. I'm just saying. No, like, you let's don't... debate it right now, you piece. As... Well, welcome to the debate winery, where we have cats and we grab their fat guts. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Chet, Chet uh, goes to jail because he's pus- yeah. Because he's pushing drugs, and then he uh, gets out of jail uh, like two days later. Because you know, whatever. Keep him on convenience. Clapping's gonna be really yeah, I know. <laughs> he's <laughs> he he's asshole. He, he gets out two days later because of convenience purposes, and his girlfriend is still pregnant. And he's all clean. He stops taking drugs, even though he would have to stop doing that anyways, because he's in jail and he wants to take heroin up from someone guys. But. He gets out of jail, and he tries to rob his girlfriend back, and then he, in the process of robbing his girlfriend back, he runs over his high school coach, who coached him in high school, and was like, hey, you gotta do naked push-ups in the shower, and if you don't push, if you don't go all the way down until the tip of your penis touches the shower floor, then you're not this doing proper family push-ups. This is friendly fucking show! Yeah, this is, this is, this, this is typical high school stuff. I dealt with that. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, so, in the process, he kills coach. Uh, somehow, because, I don't know, he just happened, because he was like, hey, coach, hold this knife in your stomach, and goes, just, Argh! and coach is like, eh, eh, no, thank you, and, he ran him over with the fucking car. whatever, same thing, all right, so, <gasps> coach is dead, and then he goes, all right, so coach is dead, and then they drive off into the sunset, and they're like, happily ever after, and they're like, no, wait, we gotta stop at grandma's for some reason, because grandma has the best, uh, peanut falafel. butter, sh- peanut, yeah, falafel, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Um, so they stop at Grandma's, and Grandma's like, ha ha ha, I can't tell your titties. And steals the baby, kills him, he ventures on over, good old Chet, our boy, he runs on over to, to, uh, Purgatory, whatever, Joshua, I don't, okay, Fireflies. He runs on over to Purgatory, and he runs across the river Styx, and then he kills Jesus in a ring, and gets some other rings, and then he gets a skeleton horse, and then on that skeleton horse, it runs into a wall, and people are pissed at him. I don't know, that came before. Yeah. Whatever, who cares? He gets some rings, and then he puts the rings on his fingers. <laughs> Half the universe have existed for Lady Death. <laughs> Alright, so, Chet takes the rings, and put, <laughs> he puts them into Mordor, and look, he's just like, look, he's making it rain with cash, but with rings, he's just there the I'm glad you're having a All of time. this is unintelligent. No one's going to understand this but me. <clears throat> okay, anyways, he grabs the rings, he puts them in the D2 L Dropbox, and he hits submit, and then he gets the email in his normal mailbox, and it's like, hey, uh, good job, you submitted a file, fuck you. Um, and then he's a free soul, he's a, he's not, he's no longer a slave, he's still a soul, but he's still in purgatory, but he's no longer a slave, even though it wouldn't make any sense to have them be slaves, because there's no financial incentive to have them be slaves, because it doesn't seem like there's any kind of, like, yeah, currency. Yeah, co- coins and cock coins. Yeah, but there's cock coins, but that can bring him back from being not quite dead. Yeah. From being, like, disembodied. Yeah, so it's really important. Yeah, but, there, but like, if you were to have slaves, then you would have, like, disembodied slaves that were all just pieces where you didn't have to pay them anything. Because that's the point of a, a slave. I don't fucking know. Just I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> so he's a free soul, but not a free soul. And he, he, finds his, he finds good old granddad, and I don't know, they reminisce about Joshua. And he gets a stone key, and granddad's like, here you go. I give this... <laughs> I kept this uncomfortable piece of metal up my anus for the last 20 years. And when your other granddad died of dysentery, because I'm actually Bob, not your granddad. He's the key, fuck it. <sighs> and he takes the key and he rides a skeleton horse back up to the surface and he kills his grandma by shooting her in the face. He's just like, <coughs> boom! He does actually shoot her. Oh, wait, really? That's awesome. All right, kills she grandma. She bleeds out in a room, though. That's fine, whatever. That, I mean, that's not what happens. Most people... For being real, bleed out in a room, right? Yeah, if you want to go with it about it. I'm, I'm just just saying it. Okay, just All right, anyway, so Grandma's dead, and he's like, hey, I don't know what the hell the point of all of that was, because none of this matters, because I'm dead anyways. <laughs> so, bye! And then he just... And he goes back to purgatory. Oh, God. 
But he um, takes all those disembodied souls of the children with him. Yeah, good for him. Whatever. All right, and they're they're all still dead. It doesn't matter. I'd rather be a firefly and like <sighs> floating around and like ch- chilling, being tormented and eaten alive by demon kids. Yeah, whatever. Well, wait, who are the demon kids then? Her two original kids that died. Why are they demons? None of the, else, the other ones are. She turned them demons in a ritual. Why just them? Because those were her two original kids. And okay, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll roll with it. How, how far off am I? How many, how many I, kitty tobings out of five did I get? You're off enough to where I regret deciding to make this podcast. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay, then give me, um, uh. Start off, what uh, what did you not like about the book and the audiobook combined? Whatever. Um, Your experience. Uh, not like? Wow, drunk. Hey, hey. <laughs> point. Um, I would have to say it felt, it was like weirdly dry in some parts. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Which, it, and there were a lot of parts where it was over-described and a lot of parts where it was under-described. Yeah, you mentioned that. But that's probably my own my only problem with it because it was super interesting to listen to it was fantastic world building it was uh i would say the story was a little weak okay but honestly with the concept you don't have to have a super strong story because i didn't think about i didn't think about how weak the story was until we started talking about it just now Okay, I suppose. Like, it's one of those where, like, yeah, if you get really in-depth into it, you realize that the key had no fucking point. But, <laughs> but it, like, was just enough to give the main character a reason to do what he was doing, which was all the fun. Okay. Yeah. At least, I mean, in terms of, like, when you were enjoying the book. Yeah. Did that... Because I'll no, be honest... that to didn't me... come up to me at all. There was so much more in between, but I'm too drunk and forgetful to remember no that's i'm just saying from my um i'm just saying from my point of view and everything that i've heard it almost sounds like dante's inferno but worse i've never but no, no, like no. less I've, good i've never heard it <laughs> i've never read dante's inferno but i this was a fantastic book i know i gave a shit idea of what it was but once again i'm drunker than i should be that's a, that's the whole point um, of all of this yeah but now i'm kind of wondering if this is giving people a bad idea of what this book is well that's where you're going to explain what were the good things okay <laughs> go uh fantastic world building um i love the gods and just it was it was fantastic um a lot of the like it was just really good. Okay. I really liked Chet. He was a very <laughs> realistic character. It felt a lot like um, Tobias from the Sabres Champion. I was actually going to compare that. It sounded yeah. a little bit yeah, like he, that. Yeah, he very much feels like Tobias. Okay. Um, Where he's a very realistic, like, it has good character growth. It's definitely not a book that, um, it's definitely not a book where you, at least for me, it wasn't where, like, I read it and it just punches me in the face about how good it is. Okay. Um, considering I've been reading uh, Throne of Glass uh, for the second, third time now, and that's have had more of an impact than this book. But it is what it is. That's yeah, also a that's fine. fantastic fucking book. Um, but it's still really good. It's okay. definitely one where I would, if if people like religion in a fantastical matter, but in a very dark, gruesome, it doesn't really bring up religion that much type of way. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. So, okay. Um, what were uh, the characters? Char- character? Um, characters. Five. How many Kitty Toe Beans out of five would you rate? L- we're doing out of ten. Oh, oh. okay, because ten. I could have an even middle. I like ten. I prefer ten. But that's why I like five, because then you can't take a middle, so you have to really think no, about it. No, but this, this I would put a five out of ten, because the characters are just very, like, okay. Just meh. They're okay. They're just there. They're, yeah, they're, they're enough. They're not super <clears throat> in-depth. They're not, they're just, they're there. Okay. They do their job. They do their purpose. That's that. They don't, they don't, like, Chet was a good character, and you really rooted for uh, Trish, but it wasn't, like, a, you felt a super big emotional connection. I would put it like a 5 or 6 out of 10. Okay. So we go with like a 5.75 out of like 10. 
Sure. And two thirds. It, it really makes your heart warm. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So characters. Um. <clears throat> what else have we got? What else? Ah. Uh, world building. You mentioned this was uh, good for world building. Maybe seven or eight. Okay. Why? That's good. <laughs> This this is the review part. It was okay. That was you got to go into it a little bit more honestly, than it's good. Honestly, the world building was a part that I felt like could have had a little bit more detail. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah. So it needed more detail. What did it do right? It had detail. <laughs> it, like it no. It but, had like, detail, but it needed detail. But like it just, I didn't know how to feel about it. Uh, but mainly, maybe it's because it was a very foreign concept. It one thing that I said was that like the sky was always red. Okay. And that it was just a lighter, darker shade of red, depending on when the mother's eye came out. So it's the nether. Pretty much. Gotcha. But that was the thing. Like, I had no idea what the climate was like. I had no idea what what <laughs> anything was like. If there What's was... the dew point in purgatory? No, I need like, to know. Because to me, I kind of just imagined it kind of in like a desert, like Mesa type situation. Really? But I have no idea. See, I have no I, idea. When I imagine purgatory, I just imagine just... Nothing. Just, like, the void, but there are souls there. No. It was and like it's just, it's, desert. people are just, there was like, like... There was, like, a town. There was, like, people walking around, and there was, like, you could buy... It wasn't, like, alcohol, but it was the one river that I can't remember the name of, but they could buy water from that, and it would help them forget. Or they could, um, uh, smoke bone smoke, and it would kind of, it'd be like cocaine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they got cocaine in purgatory. Yeah, you heard it here first. That's what Carlos described it as was cocaine. Nice. Yeah. Um all right, so characters, world building, uh story overall. I'll admit uh, this sounds like a four or five. I was gonna say this again, this sounds like a super basic hero story almost. Oh it was, yeah, that's what it's was been, that... that's what it's been described as. It's okay. him trying to find the one thing that'll save his princess. Okay. Which I was gonna say, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not I, not super interesting either. See, from my perspective, just in the way that you've just in the way that you've talked about it, you haven't sold me on this book because it sounds like a super basic hero story that happens in the afterlife. And if I want that, yeah. I'm just gonna read Dante's Inferno or Dante. But this is so much better than that, though. Because but you haven't read Dante's Inferno because Dante's Dante... Inferno is pretty goddamn. Good. But Dante's Inferno is a very old school writing style. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. a million so years is, old. This is like a renewed modern version of Dante's Inferno. Then if I want that, I'll play the video game. Good book. <laughs> I'm, I'm drunk. No, I'm not. Leave me I'm alone. not. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying you haven't sold me. To me, there there's no selling points because it just seems like someone read Dante's Inferno and was like, okay, what if there was that? But no. I'm not I don't know. I have no basis to go off of because no, that's I've never okay. read Dante's Inferno. That's okay. That's okay. Um. All right. So, w- wait. What did you give the story? Four or five. Four or five. Okay. Um. You listen to this on Audible. Mm-hmm. What would you give the narrator on there? Probably an eight. Really? Mm-hmm. He's that pretty good. good. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because you t- said that he had like a really good range. Yeah. Almost. But it wasn't. It wasn't like. It wasn't like he was trying to make it like a really feminine high pitch. Was it something so nice? No, because oh. like he had a very deep rumbly voice, but it wasn't like he's. I don't. Know, it was good. It was good. Okay. Yeah. It was okay. like it was like old school narrator, <clears throat> like what what was like for Game of Thrones, but with more range. Okay. Yeah, Saka had no range. Yeah. I don't think he even tried. Yeah. That's okay. This guy tried. He had voices for different people. And it was good, but they weren't, like, super crazy out there where you could tell. It was just little twangs. Okay. It was good. All right, then. Are there any other minor points they have to talk about before you give your final rating? My final rating? Rachelene? Rach? 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 Raching? Raching. My raging erection. Raging erection. Raging Uh, rejection. I don't think so. Other than it was just a good book. It's definitely a little different. No, this this sounds like final rating material. Go! It's definitely a little different, but it's good. I would this is a book where I will definitely recommend it to other people and I'm excited to read his other book. Um, The Child Thief, which is a horror Peter Pan. Um, it was good. It had a <laughs> Case in point rehashing old ideas. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that a bad thing? It can be a good thing. No, yeah. Okay, I don't, all right, I don't I'm want, sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want your, you can have an opinion, but you can't okay. say it's a shit idea if you've never read it. No, I know, and that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm just saying. Sure, it is. That's fine. Sure, maybe it's a remake of Dante's Inferno. I don't know. I don't like reading old books. Which, that's nothing new. That's been done a million times. But it's good. Okay. Like, sure, it's not super strong in a lot of its minor parts, but it's the minor parts that it it combines to be a very good thing. It makes up a very good, interesting, like, gore-filled, like, just, it's fantastic if you want to have a book that's just full of decapitated bodies and um giant metal golems that spit fire oh you didn't mention and, that yeah that's what they were chained to oh well, um, that's kind of cool. as slaves yeah like and there's different creatures and it's just it's good it's really good it brings up a lot of different like concepts and ideas that you don't really see in, like, modern fantasy, I wouldn't consider this a young adult. I'd consider it more of, like, a new adult. But it's good. Yeah. That's okay. what I'm gonna say. Is it so, alright, so it... Ugh. It was tough, though. Oh, sorry, they just... Um, alright, so it's good. So, uh, what what's your... What would I rate it? Yeah, what's your overall rating? How many Kitty Tobins out of ten Kitty Tobins would Probably you rate this book? Seven and a half to an eight. Seven and a half what? Kitty Tobins. Good! <laughs> You gotta use units. <laughs> Alright, you fucking engineer. Alright, so seven and a half kitty toe beans. To eight toe beans. To eight toe beans. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So you would you would recommend this to people? I would to... actually. Okay. Yes. I would. I'll say that's a pretty good rating it's overall. Not, it's not like one of my fa- I I will say I may have ordered the paperback version. Oh, really? Um, it's one where I think I will probably replace some of my books on my favorite shelf for Wow. It was that good. I was going to say, that seems like it's very deserving of an yeah, 8 out of 10 rating. It's good, yeah. 8 out of 10, yeah. Okay. So it's it's not, but it's not like my top <clears throat> 5. Well, yeah, But it's within probably my top 20. Okay. 25. Okay. So. Fair enough. Yeah, it's good. All right. Well. Well, I have to pee, so we're going to finish this up and we're going to wrap it all up. Um. So this has been the book winery. Uh, we are not currently sponsored by Audible, but I hope someday we will be. Um, so, uh, we don't have a patron as of yet. You don't need to go but, through all of those. If we don't, no, if we don't have what, it, you don't need to tell yes, people. Just be like, even, bye! Yeah, but, okay, fine. <laughs> I think you talk just so you don't feel I, like, we don't have YouTube. We don't have Patreon. I was gonna say we that. Don't we, have I was gonna say that we may, so that for, like, new listeners who <clears> are <throat> coming back to listen to these. That there might be. So look it up. If I would. I, okay. Well, I wouldn't bother. What I, if we, if, That's what I've heard other podcasts do before. Where they're like, we're hey, not that good. No podcast is that good. They're podcasts. Oh, shit. We're just a bunch of drug people sitting and trying not to pee ourselves. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So. Thanks for listening, Anna. Hi. Shout out again to Hannah because she's our only listener. <laughs> Hey oh boy oh Okay, three Thank you two, for listening to the, the choir. Goodbye! Bye.